Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Italy, episode number 33. Uh, I'm feeling healthy, so I'm really excited about getting this episode going. I mean, it's I'm also feeling good about the way the war is going, so that's also another positive reason why my energy is high to start this episode. Um, so we had, uh, as always happens in the last episode, we had this uh, the budget commitment of some item, which in this case was submarines, because we needed to get to do something, you know, you can't just not spend money ever until you uh, get the stuff you need. You have to just build something, right? Usually an obsolete ship, or in my case, I have a hard time doing that. So I usually just try to, excuse me, push and push and push until the last moment where um, I, I wait for the next tech. I wait for my, my new ship, my new shiny ship to be completely state of the art. For Italy, that seems like it's never going to be the case anyway, because even state of the art for Italy is two or three years or even decades behind um, some of the other nations. We can see that we are just barely struggling to get 14 inch guns and Great Britain had 18 inch guns. Like the discrepancy in technology is enormous, truly enormous. So we put, we are gonna push very heavily on the subs, but we did get two, thankfully, ships out before, by the way, I need to move this before I forget. That's yeah, a little too big, something like that. Uh, we did get two dreadnoughts out, and I'm hopeful that we can still get one more battle cruiser, the Nike, out. Now, mind you, I did actually spend some time to rename uh, some of our destroyers. Now that these are becoming so useful and actually getting kills and stuff, I think that it would be nice to have some people who have requested. Even if you put dreadnought, battle cruiser, etc., down to destroyer, at this point, I'm giving you a destroyer because uh, I was basically going up from the bottom of the list, and I'm sure that we're not going to have more than maybe, if, even if by some miracle we were able to get four, I'm sure it won't be more than four capital ships out at this point. Um, and I still have one supporter name to go through first, so that's the the priority, of of course. Um, I, I don't usually, I didn't even leave an option for AMCs to be named. They will be scrapped as soon as the um, war is over. That's why I don't really care to rename them, but the destroyers at least... I mean, they don't last very long because they get killed so quickly, which is why I don't normally worry about naming the destroyers either. But anyway, I've in my mind, I'm completely committed to the next playthrough being the United States, or it, <clears throat> I should say at least a, a much better nation to play as because uh, Great Britain is extremely challenging, and I think we're seeing that Italy is not, I would say, not as challenging as Great Britain, but still pretty difficult. Okay, so anyways, two, three minutes into the video, let's actually get this turn started. I... And moving, as someone already pointed out, we have a few AMCs with a star by them. Let's move them back to the Mediterranean so they don't get have any like problems with uh, um, being scuttled or whatever. And then I'm going to exchange those directly with two new ones. Because I do like the ratio we have there, putting more pressure in Northern Europe. There should be more traffic, um, more French ships. Uh, we are blockading their home ports. So that's also going to, someone also mentioned this, and it's true. That will decrease the number of uh, merchant ships are non, I mean, our, uh, the, the non-blockade ships are, are not going to have as many ships to prey on if the, if the nation is already blockaded. That means there's not going to be a whole lot of traffic that you have to pick from. So, But we're not blockading them now, so that should uh, open right back up. <clears throat> so yeah, we're still hoping, praying, hopefully, to get one of those uh, invasions. And we're almost at the point, and I probably ought to build even some more destroyers. They're just strategic destroyers at this point, really, to get us over that um, magical 3 to 1 ratio, even when the French deploy a, a sizable portion of their fleet. So the Lebeccio. Wow, it's already over. No, it's not quite 10 years old. I don't, I don't know when the ship design becomes... No longer relevant or they don't show it as of what five years is that it it only has to be five years old to be well that probably is nice if you're a nation which can build a lot of ship classes but not when you're italy okay but again let's uh let's try to push forward a little bit in time i guess with all the introduction stuff out of the way we'll probably blow through this episode because i don't think we're going to be doing a lot of combat wow five french ships that's great three one these AMCs, I think, are paying for themselves if they force the French to the table under collapse. 
and that is a lot of ships. Now it's their turn, and they only got one. Convoy attack. Medium size, probably that means light cruisers at the most. Three and six, six and 26. I still like our chances. This might be an opportunity for us to see our, our, our AMCs in action. I'm going to decline. After all that build up, I, I don't think it's worth um, losing our strategic point advantage. By the way, is it still three to one? 91 to 43. Wow, they have moved in a sizable amount, but that means, yeah, one point remaining over there. So we'll do our usual trick. Get this into view. Okay, so we'll do our normal. And, and with 43, when I see 43, that's that really is, we're not gonna be able to get 120 points. We'd have to build 30 more destroyers. That's I mean, just completely out of the realm of possibility. So, and I do want to build more subs. I have to say that, but maybe at this point, since we've waited so long from the initial, the first 30, let's wait for some kind of improvement in submarine technology. Good. Okay, our destroy. Oh man, even our destroyers. I was gonna say our minesweepers are still suffering, but even our destroyers. And oh my God, their submarines. Okay, we're sinking on average three a month. That means that they have to be building three new ones every month, which is a lot of submarines to be building. I'm gonna decline all these Mediterranean, oh, okay. Well, we can't do this one, but how does it work? Do they immediately know? I think they do immediately know that we're uh, an enemy. It'd be nice to, like, there was this, what was it? Uh, it was actually not Cold Waters, but the predecessor. Um, Atlantic Fleet. Atlantic Fleet had the engagement where you had a few turns where they couldn't fire, which was simulating them not knowing you were uh, an armed merchant cruiser instead of just a merchant ship. That was kind of cool. So you could choose to open fire whenever you want it or let them get closer. Anyway, we're going to squad max, I mean, this is really kind of a pointless engagement. If they want to pursue us, they will sink us. I, gosh, no, let's not regret. I'm, I, you know, I'm okay with this. Let's just run away. This AMC is going to be much more effective surviving, so... That's her mission. I don't know what this was that we were up against. What do we have? We have, I mean, we do have torpedoes, so. Kind of cool to see the sun not going down in the very far north. Must be June or so. <clears throat> yeah, May. Um, it was actually an AMC of their own. Funny. But I, I don't really care. I think that was still better that we, we I, you know what? We probably would have sank theirs because I believe that they had less than six inch guns in their AMCs. <clears throat> I could just guess, but we also have the ability to just look it up. No, they are using six inch guns. Well, on a few of them, they aren't. Okay, anyway, we were able to achieve the blockade, which is good. Let's take a look have uh, two ships, these ones with stars, they're running out of supplies. They're in the Mediterranean now, so I'm gonna leave them on raiding mode anyway. <clears throat> and that will probably prompt the French to respond in the normal manner to go back to Northern Europe. I'm gonna wait one month. Germany, yeah, we're okay with that. Okay, four more submarines dead. Two, three. Cruiser action, I cannot avoid this. Medium, is this my battle cruiser? Oh, okay, well that's completely okay. And we are, we're, you know, suffering a few more um, ships running out of supply. Let's just continue to swap in and out appropriately. And not blockading, which we, I could have guessed. I probably should just immediately move the Fortuna back after one month now. 
I kind of know that they're going to react in that manner. I, I keep hoping that... Oh, look at that. 83. You know what? What if we keep the Fortuna here? Ah, oh, this is annoying. Let's do it this way. If we keep the Fortuna here, will they... Can we, like, exchange? Can we, like, trade off the Fortuna to force them to stay there? Which may give us an invasion event. I'm going to try it. It's worth a shot. As long as she doesn't have a star or anything, we are somewhat convinced she'll last another month outside of friendly waters. <clears throat> and we know that she'll outrun, I think she'll outrun almost anything she might fight. Unless it's a battle cruiser. Do they have battle cruisers? They didn't. Last I checked. Yeah, no, they don't. Yeah, so she'll outrun anything that. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Their dreadnoughts are faster than me. <laughs> what? Okay, so take it back, but I think we'll still eventually pull away. I mean, this is not. It, we also have 14 inch guns. We are going to have to refit a lot of our ships as soon as the war ends, but that's like a tale as old as time at this point. Man. This is what I keep forgetting to do. I keep forgetting to... Enemy radar coastal shipping. Decline that, I guess. I keep forgetting to uh, look and see how many submarines the French have. What the hell? Well, how long does it take a medium submarine to build? They have 62 and they're building 45 more. How long does it take a medium submarine to build? 18 months. So, if they're losing three a month, then they need 18 times three to continuously replace. Yeah, which comes out to 54. So they are actually almost building enough to replace three lost ones a month. That is an insane amount of uh, submarines. And also reminds me that we really ought to take advantage of that ourselves. Uh, the budget is not going to permit it. Yeah. I mean, even as is, we only we are not going to be able to. We're going to have to halt the halt the um, Fulmine to get the Praetorian out, unless some other budget increase comes. And I don't I don't foresee that. Even if we win this war and acquire a lot of territory, we'll go back to peace. We'll lose a lot of budget. So yeah, we'll have to wait. Ah, this just, Italy just doesn't have a budget. They just don't have a budget. Nothing to work with here. Maybe I should build some more armor merchant cruisers. They have been successful. And we're just waiting for the end of this war. Like, I think we're actually losing more money. Um, even though the monthly, the yearly budget is huge because we're at war we're losing more ships a turn than we're gaining in money the war is not economical because of their submarines and there doesn't seem to be any way i can i i had i had oh, over double the patrol fulfillment in order to stop the submarines but they just didn't work okay well let's fight this visibility is poor which means we stand less of a chance of escaping. What the hell? How is it that you didn't see this ship which is right next to you? Well, might as well open up broadside now. Okay, can we launch at this angle? I doubt it. No. I think we lost our ship. Kind of bogus, if you ask me. Um, that they were able to pretty much sink us before we even saw them, even though they were right next to us. A little bit bogus. I, I don't know. I wonder if I've ever been on the receiving, I mean, if I've ever been the person that the other ship couldn't see, but I don't think so. 
would I have noticed? I don't know. Hard to say, but I don't like that. I don't like it not just because I lost the ship. Obviously, that's a reason why I would not like that. But just because the the way it played out, the way that they I couldn't hit them. And I haven't been paying attention. Did they move their fleet back? No. So we're sitting on a huge 81 to whatever, and and nothing is coming. All right, well, we have to move our... Not worth losing the Fortuna for the invasion, even though, in my opinion, it should have happened. Two Dreadnoughts, a battleship, an armored cruiser, 81 points to zero. We should have invaded already, in my, in my opinion. And I, I mention that only because I, I want to have invaded. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We'll have to buy some more. Four more submarines down. Okay, they're still declining that. So we got to build some more minesweepers. Twelve of them, I guess. Uh, it's just ridiculous how many we're losing. Are there are any down here that are not on. Yeah, there are a few that we can put onto coastal patrol. So boost that number. Uh oh. Okay, I did it. I did it. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it shrunk them. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. I, I mean, my unmute button apparently is also the function which collapses all this. I did not want that. Oh, well. It's, uh, it's, we can live. Okay, so next time, move to a different screen and then mute. <laughs> uh, what do I want to do right now? What's the game plan? 95 to 39 is not quite 3 to 1. Damn it. And did she recover? No, not yet. Alright, we just hold. So stupid. I'm just on the verge of causing them to collapse and then this happens. Four points is nothing. Nothing. I can't even get Corsica. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, so we all know that you get double the... Well, we don't all know, but I, I may have mentioned it in this series already, and I will re-mention it here. I mean, this is just simply not worth it. We're, we're just simply not getting our money's worth out of this. <clears throat> However... Oh, we could take Djibouti and Madagascar because... Those are both in an area where we already have to populate, I think. No, Eastern Africa and Indian Ocean, are they different? I wish I could see the Almanac. I, I actually have forgotten how the map layout is. I think Indian Ocean is different than uh, East Africa. Okay. I don't remember, but... Okay, anyways, I know that I could take like Tunisia, Algeria. These are in the Mediterranean. I definitely would take Corsica if I could. One more point. I just, we're, you know, we're finally putting the squeeze on them and uh, it's going to be rough on our budget too, I'm sure. Well, let's just start to take their holdings in the Mediterranean, I guess. Uh, let's take Algeria. I want Alge uh, Tunisia eventually, but let's take Algeria first. Okay, there's the nine AMCs. Everyone's stealing technology from the technologically poor nation. Seems ironic. Yes, yeah, so we'll take Tunisia next time. We're kind of penning them in now. And then if I could just get Corsica, gosh. And I know that this doesn't give me as much of a budget increase as taking just the money. But I, I do want to just start bleeding the French away. And I'm actually not sure if their budget decreases when yours increases based on war, um, the end of a war. Like, does it just add 
the four points I had there, would it just add that to my budget? Or would it add it to mine and subtract it from the French? I don't know. I would assume subtract, but how are we doing? We are still amazingly far behind everyone. Like this picture probably just says it all. The nation which we have defeated twice, France, is still okay, about 25 about 25% higher than us. And that's our closest uh, competition in terms of budget. Now they're going to have just a crap load of submarines. So our research has just got to be under ASW. These two on high is good. <clears throat> I'm actually going to drop naval guns down to medium now. Because, and this to medium as well. Because I, I don't need a lot of these things anymore. We already, well, the only thing we're missing here, actually we have not gotten the better director yet. So let me put that back up to high. And I'm okay with all these on medium. Having 16, getting the 1% weight savings, I think means that we've done everything we can on ship design. Uh, I'll leave it on, well, yeah, let's put it to low. Um, what do we have here? I think we can also, the next one we're missing for this torpedo warfare is all ships can launch from uh, like surface mounted torpedoes, but I don't really care about that. So let's decrease that. I don't know what we're missing. There are things which, yeah, reduce the penalty for firing at, uh, for more than one ship firing at a target. I do like those. So I think our, yeah, I think our priorities are good here. I'm going to increase this to high because I would like better than just two levels of torpedo defense. And it kind of shows that that one's a little bit behind. Okay, let's see. Well, the budget's not even that screwed. I guess our budget is so low that even when uh, it is dropped, the, it doesn't drop by much. <laughs> okay, let's bring everyone back to the Mediterranean. It looks like everyone is because all my AMCs were scrapped. Yeah, we have a lot of refitting to do. And I don't want to do that yet because we don't have the money for it. but we'll be getting the money as these subs finish, that's true. Oh. So I think this has like a long-term, yeah, long-term, I think this has a long-term effect, but let's just do this directly. I need the money so much. Why is this not going six, negative 6.3? Negative 6.3 should drop a lot. There it is, that's much better. Okay, double gun mounts on CLs. That actually is quite good. So I'm, wow, I'm, I, I miss, uh, what am I trying to say? Miss something. I underestimated is the word. Underestimated the effectiveness of the last few technologies in chip design. Once you get the 1% stuff on chip design, I thought you, already gone, you had already gone through all the main stuff and I was wrong. So something to note for the future. Okay, that's eight more months. How long are we waiting? A long time, a long time. Oh, I don't want to go to war with Germany, but I just don't care. No, 14 inch guns are in being built, no way. I said I was gonna scrap these battleships, but there's just no way. They don't cost enough to really save me anything, and their effectiveness in points, strategic points, is... Plus, they're the legacy ships. I mean, really, truly legacies. The Italians still using ships from 1899 or earlier in uh, 1920. Like, this is because we have to. And our strategic, quote-unquote strategic dreadnoughts have been the workhorses of our Navy, ironically. Okay, I'm happy about that. Almost up to neutral on the budget, which is great. 
when we get close, the first thing I need to do is... That's a nice ship. My goodness, that's a nice ship. I don't know how they're calling these things dreadnoughts. I mean, I guess in the 1920s, you could have dreadnoughts at 27 knots, but in the, like, kind of the scope of this game, these should be called battle cruisers, I believe. Everyone's using improved director. Come on, team. Get it together. I can't really build new submarines with that though. I'm I got I mean I just gotta. I have to. Five, it's four hundred per a uh, two hundred per I should say. So put us up to like a million, so we'll have twenty two months. That's fine, we'll do four then. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, we need that. Ah. So I think this just hurts. I think this just hurts unrest, which I don't really care about because we're at zero. I also really don't care about prestige. Now let's just do this as an experiment. Does this prestige drop save our budget? 188.9. It does. Okay, I'm completely okay with that. I'm a very selfless man. I don't care if my prestige drops as long as our navy stays intact. And so humble about talking about it, too. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think we just gotta refit these, though. They won't be that expensive, and I don't want them to be <laughs> so out of date when the next war comes. Wow. I really had no idea that improved that uh, the old guns can't be increased. I guess increased elevation is only for guns up over 12. No. Why can this not be checked? I wonder what it is that prevents it. Okay, 291 for four. 291 for four. So 1165, then if we just do this. I think it's worth it. And we're not gonna do the better quality, uh, the better, as in quality one, six inch guns. Just too much to replace. I believe. Let's just look. We're at 2700, 2800, let's say. Yeah, it's just way too much. We can't afford that. And with the director firing, I'm pretty confident those are going to still satisfy their role. So, yeah, we'll just do it this way. Uh, it's not ideal, but. Okay. I have no idea if this is going to cause errors or what now that we have a list out of bounds or whatever. Never seen that before, actually. That's the first time I've ever seen that pop up. Okay, 105 getting a bit low, but... Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, most importantly, we need to do the Fortuna. She's going to be uh, very expensive, though, unfortunately, because we need to impre uh, increase the quality of her 14-inch guns. So we'll just do the obsolete ones. Huh, we don't actually have better 10-inch uh, guns. Huh. 
Well, I don't want this ship to ever be in action again. Maybe I just don't... Maybe I don't increase the... Yeah, it's expensive to do if you do any incre increase. You should just go. You should just go to improved director. Is this uh, this ship is sometimes pitted against light cruisers though? I have a feeling she's going to be sunk like the first opportunity we have in the next war if I refit her just because of luck. But let's do it anyway. Yeah, she's extremely light on those guns. My God, the ammunition very, very, very low. But it's worth it. In fact, we could probably... 21. I was going to say, we might need to like sacrifice her torpedoes for ammunition. We could do one fire control position, which is very dangerous. I don't think it increases your... I think it's just redundancy. So if one gets destroyed, you can still fire. <clears throat> we, we just can't even shoot our guns. I'm going to have to... This is weird. I'm going to have to do this. Because... <laughs> we just don't have enough ammunition. And there's no other way I can get that <clears throat> space back without... I mean, there'd be, it wouldn't be good. All right, let's do it this way. Okay, now the last, the Chibo Gloriosos, what do they have? 12 inch guns. They need to be bumped up to, yeah, actually they're in good shape. They, they I can see why they're performing really well. They have quality one 12 inch guns and quality one six inch guns. So they should be doing really well. The only thing they need now is the directors. Okay, unfortunately this is gonna cost ah, just one tap, okay. Just one, that's fine. So this should be, whoa, 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 whoa. I think this is just because their maintenance is really high anyway. What? So it'd be 300,000, so it's 1,200. Oh my goodness, what the heck? That is expensive. Oof. <clears throat> Happens to be exactly the amount that will take us over the weight remaining as well. We will have to drop, but that is expensive. We'll hold off on them. They already have director. They're you know pretty good, quality one, everything. So let's just try to manage our money the best we can. No, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, eliminates rate of fire penalty. Finally, we have that thing. So now double turrets for our secondaries is a thing. And Lightning Dragon told me that this, um, the technology we just researched, um, immediately takes effect on all ships. So if you have double turrets on a ship, you um, you have the rate of fire penalty until you research that, but. Even once, even if you have an old ship with the double turrets, the penalty, the rate of fire penalty to its double turrets are immediately removed when you have this technology. Now that's something I did not know. So thank you, first of all, Lightning, uh, for telling me that. Also, I'd be really curious, and Lightning is really good. He'll comment in the, we'll be able to see his comment in the comment section, I'm sure. Let me know how you figured that out, because that's something I've wondered for a long time, and I've asked on my YouTube videos several times. Um, to have me not buy technology is extremely rare, and it really shows the dire straits that Italy is in financially. I don't need superimposed guns on DDs. We're not going to buy that technology. And well, look at that. Got them anyway. Um, we'll get pissed at anybody if it'll increase our budget. But I'm going to go ahead and call this episode to a close here. We made some good progress. End of the war. Not, I would say, the way I wanted that war to end. I was really hoping for an invasion in the Mediterranean. Really hoping for that. Really pushing for that. 
And failing that, I was hoping for a government collapse, 10 points. We got neither of these things. We were left with four points, and that left a lot of budget on the table, I feel. But I don't think that this has been like an amazing playthrough. We haven't been like remarkably successful, so this it did kind of follow the general trend for the campaign. That said, uh, yeah, let's just wrap this up, and let's still try to finish strong. I would like to finish... Um, I want these, whoops, I want these battleships, they're dreadnoughts I guess, dreadnoughts out, maybe at this point we're around the time when they're just all being called battleships again. So I want these battleships out, and then I want a new battle cruiser before, before we end the game. Um, where the budget, where the money's going to come from, I have no idea, but we'll figure out a way. <laughs> Okay, anyways, until the next time, thanks for watching, and uh, take care.